the vision of Web3 is to go back to the, to, to the roots, go back to the vision of Web1, that being that the, the concentration of information and access to it should be decentralized in such a way where there are open standards, anyone can create a client that accesses that information, but more importantly, those that contribute to the database in the first place get compensated for the value created by that database. That's the vision of Web3. So how did that lead us to, to Hedera? We, we realized, we, we recognize that that's, a, that's a, a, a noble goal. That's something that we want to participate in. And um, so we created a platform. It's called Hedera Hashgraph. It's built on Hashgraph instead of blockchain. But it's a basic, um, what we call layer one platform that enables developers to build decentralized applications to realize that overarching vision. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Hedera Lord Commander here, and we have a spectacular video lined up for you. We are, of course, going to be following on from that very quick clip of Mance talking about the Web3 vision, which is a vision that sees power distributed back to the people. We live in a world today where a handful of companies basically have control over the digital world. And what Web3 is essentially looking to do is democratize it, decentralize it. And Hedera is absolutely leading the way on that. So of course, that is what we're going to be talking about. First of all, I just want to address a comment that I continue to see, and that is that Hedera is dead. This is simply hilarious. And of course, this comment has came from people looking at Hedera's sideways price action over the past year or so, and essentially having that lead them to believe that there's nothing going on with this project, whereas the reality is far, far different. What I want to do is actually dive over to Amazon after the dot-com boom, and we're going to bring it up right now. You can see Amazon, after the decline of the dot-com boom, actually went on and literally went sideways for two years before then becoming the company that it is today. And that's because this technology back then had a destination to change the world. Hedera, ladies and gentlemen, is on the same trajectory. Let's pull up the Hedera chart and actually show you that before we dive into what we have for you in this video. We're going to talk about the world that we're moving towards and the role that Hedera is going to be playing in it. Because Web3 is changing the world. It's taking the world by storm. We have given Hedera price predictions and we still believe they are on track. Perhaps it's taking a little bit longer than expected, but we will get there. So Hedera has really just been going sideways for a period now, but I do believe it's coming out of that. We are coming out the other side of this tunnel. And when you understand what Hedera is doing and the colossal scope of it, kind of mentioned there in regards to what Mance was saying, uh, looking at the vision for Web3, it's an exciting future we've got ahead, guys. And actually, I want to now dive over to a recent report from Santiment that are essentially looking at the top developing projects in the cryptocurrency space. And you can see Hedera, Hashgraph, is leading the charge, of course. Why wouldn't you build on Hedera? It's easy to do. Why wouldn't the world be tokenized on Hedera? We're going to talk about that. They're already leading the way. We see the largest energy, renewable energy supplier in Europe actually already using Hedera to tokenize their carbon uh, credits, their carbon fund, which is just simply an absolute milestone that doesn't get enough attention. But we're going to make sure to continue to mention it. Of course, you can see in regards to development activity, we have Hedera in the number uno position. Then we have Optimism, we have Cardano, Chainlink, Starknet, ETH Status, Definity, Cosmos, Polkadot, and of course, Kusama. Hedera is dead. Well, not from a development point of view. In fact, it's leading the charge. It's number one. I mean, what can you say to that? Yes, okay, the price action has been going sideways, but we've just shown you a great example in regards to Amazon and what it did coming out of the dot-com crash. Hedera is on a very similar trajectory. Understand that Amazon was set on a destination to change the world. Hedera is doing the exact same thing. This is the world we're moving towards. It's one where everything is tokenized. It's one where distributed ledgers play a vital role, a central role in tomorrow's world. And I think Hedera stands a very good chance of being a part of that. So what I want to do now is actually dive into a clip of Mance also talking about his vision for tomorrow's world in regards to tokenization. And then we'll continue on from there. Um, so I think... I think it's clear at this point that we're going to live in a tokenized world. Everything you see and touch, everything of value is going to have a digital twin. 
And the way I think that that's going to scale up is through supply chain. So we have a, a, a user of Hedera called Atma.io. It's Avery Dennison. It's a global company. They're a supply chain company. And they are processing billions and billions of transactions on Hedera today where supply, their supply chain customers have, have product flowing into their supply chain. That product is tokenized as the, say, sneakers, as an example, get produced, the sneakers end up having a token associated with them. Those tokens can interface through the decentralized finance tech stack, meaning that the tokens associated with the sneakers can be traded for stable coins in a programmatic way to fund the, the capital, uh, to provide funding for operations. As the sneakers get ready to ship the palace of sneakers have tokens that are traded again for an AR, an accounts receivable through the, from the distributor that is buying those pallets of sneakers. The ARs programmatically get factored again through the DeFi tech stack, and in return, they get more stable coins to, again, uh, increase free cash flow. That's what the future is going to look like. And because of that, Everything that you see in touch is going to have an associated token. What we've seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. Even if we think, forget about pictures, right? Forget about apes. Even if we look at uh, the tokenization of financial instruments, as we've seen through KKR and maybe real estate, et cetera, all of that is just the tip of the iceberg to, to what's coming. Everything is going to be tokenized. There's absolutely no doubt about that. In fact, people just think about NFTs and sort of pictures and things like this, but we also know about the financial industry. So we recently had the absolute amazing opportunity of interviewing Red Swan, which is a commercial real estate company that is tokenizing billions of dollars of commercial real estate on Hedera already. That is one great example. Of course, Mance mentioned Avery Dennison. That is another great example. You have the largest EDF, European renewable energy producer. Also, they're also big across the world, world in energy, full stop, tokenizing on Hedera. We recently had news about BlackRock's ICS money market fund also being tokenized on Hedera. And of course, the largest asset manager in the world, in the UK, is also tokenizing with Hedera. It's not just them. We see Mondelez, one of the largest producers of confectionaries. They're the people behind Toblerone, Oreos, etc., etc. Also now a Hedera governing council member. Chocolate bars are going to be tokenized. Everything is going to be tokenized from the very small, minute things all the way up to the colossal billion, potentially trillion dollar asset classes. And Hedera is undeniably leading the way. Find me another project that's doing as much as they are in regards to the tokenization of things. You can't. Hedera is number uno. And actually, if we dive over to Hedera's tokenization service, this is essentially what's making all of this possible. And the beautiful thing about their tokenization service is it is easy to use. People don't want to adopt things that are hard to do. They want to adopt things that are seamless. And users want to use things that are seamless that they don't really have to think about. When you get in your car in the morning and you drive to work, you don't think about the engine that's in that car. You get in it and you drive. This is very much how distributed ledgers are going to take hold of the world. They're going to be integrated into everything. We're seeing the rise of IoT, which of course is utilizing distributed ledgers. We're seeing the rise of things like DeFi. We're seeing the rise of things like ReduFi. Everything is being tokenized deep in. We're actually reimagining the infrastructure of the internet and essentially democratizing it, along with everything else, data itself. Hedera is leading from the front in regards to this. And when we see the comments looking at or talking about Hedera being a dead project, I know this comes from potentially frustrated and impatient investors. And actually, markets are very, very good at taking from impatient and giving to patients. If you can't hold Hedera through the bad times, you're never going to be able to appreciate the good ones. And that is not financial advice. That's just my own opinion as someone who has Hedera at the number one position of my portfolio. If 
you do want to find out a little bit more about what I hold, do consider becoming a Patreon. There is a link in the description. But Hedera is my largest position, and we don't mind publicly disclosing that because as far as layer one distributed ledgers go, for me, it's very much at the forefront of many, many things. And I think that is only continuing to become a lot more evident and is only going to snowball. And if you look again about the world that we're moving towards and the tokenization of it, everything's going to be tokenized. Hedera have arguably one of the best systems for doing that. First of all, it's actually able to do that in regards to the scalability of the network, which you can't say for probably the vast majority of layer ones out there without the help of layer twos uh, and various other methods. So that is it really it, it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just a video I wanted to get out. We'll do a longer video talking in a lot more depth in regards to why Hedera perhaps isn't dead going into a lot more metrics, going into a lot more stats and statistics. I understand that as an investor, you do go through times of frustration, but you need to see the bigger vision. You need to understand what Web3 is truly doing and the role that Hedera is potentially going to play in that. When you understand that, it becomes very easy to become a Hedera holder like myself. So that is it from me, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed filming it and presenting it to you. On that note, I am going to love and leave you. It is your Hadira Lord Commander here, checking out. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.